Hello friends, welcome in my video series on image processing using Python. So I'll just explain you the very basic program in this video. Oh, I have created one folder here on the desktop and in that I have two files. One is the basic .py and one second is image. So I'll just open this first. I have already opened that on desktop here and one terminal I need it so to write any program we have these steps first step is the initialization here we need to import the necessary libraries then second one is the reading the image so here we can read the image then we can apply the image processing into this section and then last one is the to display the image whatever the image either that original image we can display or whatever is the processed image that also we can display here and lastly we can close and exit the program so these are the very simple steps when we write any the program so first here we need to import the necessary libraries so I am just telling here uh, that library about the OpenCV so import cv2 so this is the initialization step if you want to include the another library just like numpy plo or something so we can include here but this program that simple program is based on the cv2 so first we need to include this cv2 library now here i need one array we can say that is the variable that is used to store the image and cv2 dot i am read here we can provide the name of the image now see this image should be there in your current folder if you are putting the name like this and if suppose that image is somewhere else then we need to put here complete path so that harish.gpg that image is there in my folder that already I just shown you here on the desktop so this harish.gpg is there right so this image should be stored in this current folder then and then we can put like this otherwise we need to put here complete path right now here that second portion is the do the processing it means now here i am just telling you how to read the image and how to display the image so that's why i will not do anything here i'll skip this part and i'll just go for the displaying the image now here cv2 i am show now here first i need to put that window name in which we need to display that image so original image this is the window name and whatever is the matrix this matrix or we can say this is the variable that we need to display into this window so img so we can display this and last one this close and exit is actually when we uh, display that image so that image gets display in fractions of second and then gets vanished so to retain that image on the desktop we need to put something like cv2 weight key and put your parameters as 0 now see this k should be capital normally people make the mistake like that k they keep like small but this should be capital then and then this will work otherwise it will not work and that zero parameter means amount of time to wait in millisecond if it is greater than zero and if it is equals to zero then thus will wait for the infinite time till that user enters the key so if you are putting here zero it means whatever that image has been displayed that will wait for the infinite time till that user enters the key 
and if I am putting here some other value other than 0 then for that millisecond that window will be vague. So, I will just show you that one also and second one CV2 destroy all windows. Now, see again here destroy is the one word that all is the second word, but the starting letter that is A should be capital and again windows that is the third word and again the W for that should be capital. So, whatever are the windows that will be destroyed here. Now, we will see we will save this program right and we will try to run here, but first I need to enter into my current folder. So, CD desktop then again here CD Python. Now, here I can say I can list out the program. So, two files are there one is the basics and second one is the harish.jpg. Now, we will run it simply python basics.py. Now, see this image in being displayed. Now, whatever is this name, this name is I have written here. So, this is the name of this window and this img means whatever is this image that one. Now, see if you just move the cursor on this image. So, you can see here this these are the coordinates x y coordinates and these are the rgb colors you can see these gets changed right. Now, I will just tell you the demonstration of this weight key. Suppose I am not putting that weight key here. So, I will just comment this one I will save it and I will just run it. So, see this Im program is running that gets run, but that image displayed in a very microsecond and this gets vanished. So, if I am just putting here some value other than 0, suppose 5000 milliseconds, right. So, this will be it for 5 seconds. this image now you can see this will get vanished yes. So, that is why if you are putting here the 0. So, this will not be automatically vanished you can see now this image is here this one. So, when I just close this then and then it will be closed this one. Okay. So, this is very basic program how to read that image and how to display that image with these two and whatever the last one this one. So, this is to destroy all this the whatever the or the program or sorry the images or the processes are running on this that will be closed. So, this is very basic program if you like this program. So, please like it and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much.